What's going on guys and welcome back to what is the 2021 official Unlisted Elite Room Tour. This is going to be such a fun video, I am so excited to finally show you guys. It has been months or maybe even years building up in the making and today I finally get to show off every nook and cranny, all the details. It's going to be such a long video so get a snack, get a big bag of popcorn, get a little relaxed on the sofa chair and just get prepared for uh, the complete on the sleeve collection room. It's a whole room in my house that I've been building up for ages and I'm so excited to show it off to you guys. I was so pumped actually that Skillshare reached out and like, Ando, we want to sponsor today's video. So before we get started, let's see what Skillshare has to say. Now if you don't know what Skillshare is, basically it's an online learning platform that has thousands and thousands of courses that are hosted by the coolest individuals ever and it's something that I really wish was around when I started my YouTube channel um, because they actually have this course on there all around YouTube hosted by MKBHD, right? And I know what you're thinking, Ando, why do you need to take a course on YouTube? You've been doing it for seven years. That's what I thought. But when I took this course, I sort of realized Skillshare is for everyone of all skill levels. Because I was starting to learn all sorts of things from my man right here and I gotta say, MKBHD as a teacher is so good. And even it doesn't have to be around YouTube, they've got courses around art. So if you're really inspired by Pokemon card art and you want to get into drawing, they've got classes around that. So this is a really cool partnership and when they reached out saying, Ando, we want to offer the first 1,000 subscribers of yours that click the link in the description a free month of Skillshare. I was like, come on down, let's do it. Go check it out, go learn something, and let me know in the comments, what class did you take and what did you learn? Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Alrighty, but ladies and gentlemen, let's have a tour of my entire Unlisted Leaf collection room right here. And I think as crazy and out of place as everything may seem to you guys, to me, this is the most organized and best looking my collection has ever looked in the history of me collecting Pokemon cards, I think. I'm so proud of this. This room right here, it's something that I'm in every single day of the week and I'm always building out and trying to make better and I don't know, get stuff that's really personal and cool to me that I want to keep and display like this. It is going to go forever, um, so I'm just warning you right now because when I'm passionate about something I find I just over explain everything. But let's start here and we'll work our way through this way of the room. We're going to kick off with our Trico right here. Look at my man, this is a gigantic cardboard cutout. Now I've got three of them around the room, so we got Pikachu right here, we got Charmander right there, and then we got Trico right here. And these were a Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Nintendo Switch sort of promo cardboard cutout. They were only out in England, right? And only given to select Nintendo stores or something that was like an official Nintendo store in England. And they were only out for the promotion of the Mystery Dungeon game on Switch. So when they were getting thrown out, one of the employees saved a few of them. And then I managed to get in contact with the employee. I paid him to ship it from England to Australia and now I've got these cardboard cutouts. And honestly, it could be the best thing in the whole world. I am in love with them. And then behind it, this is one of my favorite pieces. Done by an artist called David Hyor. You might have seen him around. He does a lot of like, weird like contemporary sort of arts right here. And this was actually a completely limited edition, sold out piece. It's actually signed by him down the bottom there. Um, but yeah, this is a completely sold out piece. It was available at ComplexCon or something and it flew off the shelves. It's absolutely massive. First edition Charizard, obviously, but I got in contact with him and he sold me his personal last copy because he saw how big a fan of Pokemon I was. And for that, I'm like forever thankful and this is one of the best art pieces ever. I just thought that was amazing and I can't wait to hang that up properly one day, but for now, it's protecting the Covetant briefcase right here. On top of the briefcase, we got my Crystal Collect sort of Pikachu binder. She actually drew this one for me, which I absolutely love to pieces. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Pikachu's got unlisted leaf on his shirt, and then up the top it says Crystal Collects. I love Chonky Chew, I love Pikachu, and this binder just was like the best thing ever. It says unlisted leaf right there. So put that binder to the side because I want to show off my Team Rocket briefcase. All right, so lift up the lid of this Team Rocket one. This right here, oh man, these are some of the goods right here. So we've got a uh, Charizard VMAX, which is the pristine one right here. Got a 9.5 on the centering, which didn't get a perfect 10, but I do have another one to get a perfect 10. 
and let alone like Pristine 10 is amazing for CGC, but this isn't the rarest one. Because then we went and got the uh, CGC Mint 9 on my Shining Charizard. And guys, look at this. We got Perfect 10. What the heck? Everything got a 10. Got to be so valuable, um, but I'm obsessed because I pulled this one myself and super proud of it. Then we got my Pikachu. I should put this with my uh, Pikachu collection up here, but I think for now, it's good being in the uh, case. Gem Mint 10, got the sparkle. Japanese one is like, just the coolest thing ever, and it's the first ever Sword and Shield promo ever made. Very cool coming in number one. Then we got my Reshiram and Charizard tag team, RIP the ripped one. Um, then we got my Pristine 10. So Pristine 10s, as I said, very hard to get. So I'm very proud of that one because it's a Battle Fester card. Then with my Japanese Battle Fester again, look at the artwork, that Mega Gengar. As the TikTokers would say, Shayush! Then we got my Pikachu. These Battle Festers are unbelievable. This is my Charizard. You actually got it out of an art book. And coming out of an art book, I knew it was going to have good art, and it did. Then we got my Golden Tag Team Charizard, Reshiram. Very cool. And we got Birthday Pikachu for the second anniversary of the Pokemon Company. PSA 9, flippin' staple. You'd write your name right there. So a few of them would have text marks all over it. So another cool piece, Golden Zamazenta. Got the Golden Zacian as well. The sparkle's insane, guys, I gotta say. What do we got here? Oh yes, yeah, so we got the Japanese and the English versions, and they all came back a gem in 10. I think that's why I was freaking out in my last return. And then we got my stained glass window card. The Japanese one is very, very hard to get, so very happy I got that in PSA 10. And then, is this another nine? Yes, it is. Alrighty, so coming down from there, we've got my cubes right here. Now, this is probably the biggest difference in my collection at the moment. I don't know, I've been collecting a lot of PSA cards, and I think this is made up of a lot more personal grails for me, so I'm obsessed with these cubes, and I think each one is really, really sick, and I love staring at this all day long. So we'll start at the top. A lot of these boxes up here, so you know, your Champion Spark, your Shining Fates, your Detective Pikachus. Um, we've even got a Kanto, what is it called? It's like the Kanto Journeys box or something. These ones up here, they're like stuff I bought for videos but never got around to unboxing. So they've sort of just sat on top of the collection room and that box right there, I bought for 50 bucks and it resells right now for like 500. It's so stupid. We've also got a couple of cool things like you know, I've got heaps of these uh, CGC Greater Charizard V Full Up promos. They came in the ETBs. As you guys know, I sent in like nine of those things and none of them came back at 10. They all came back 9.5, 9s or 8s. And then next to it, this right here is really cool. Inside is the uh, Pokemon trading card game. And I don't mean the trading card game. So yeah, that's actually really sick. So I've got a full, completely sealed one, which I honestly think is gonna be the most valuable thing in my collection one day. And the other one is somewhat empty, but that's just because a bunch of those good cards have been sent off to Beckett at the moment, so they're getting graded. Then I've got my Detective Pikachu sort of hat right here, given to me when I went on the red carpet. I've got a few Pokemon trophies, you guys might remember. Old mate, old mate in uh, America actually sent me a couple of these trophies and I'm super appreciative of it. He won the 2014 championship and he was a 2014 finalist. This is the new big boy in the collection. The first ever ETB ever made. This is a Plasma Storm. I don't know what more to say about it. Plasma Storm has such a good set. It's got a shining Charizard inside, and then this being the first one ever made, it's awesome. So let's get into the first sort of shelf down here. All right, so cube number one is probably my favorite and personal uh, most attached cube in this whole thing. It is all Pikachus that I have graded myself. I bought every single of these raw um, in the product. I got it out the product, and I sent it into PSA, and they all came back gem in 10, except for, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's the Gyarados and Magikarp at the back there. Got two nines, but the rest came back a gem in 10. And some of these Pikachu, cosplay Pikachu cards, are the best looking cards in TCG history. I absolutely love it. Um, I got this cool display shelf, so when you like go back here, you can see all of them stacked on top of each other. I don't even know which one's my favorite would be. I love this full up one right here. 
Um, I had this in my collection raw for so long, so to come back at 10 was amazing. Charizard, obviously a huge hit. Shining requires his nuts as well. And then if you go here, you can see a plush Pikachu behind him. Coming up here, I actually won these at a Becca auction, or a, uh, sorry, a, P a PWCC auction ages ago. Classic when Beckett graded stuff and put paper logos on there, but I love it. Original Charizard and two CD promos. Then we've got weird packs of Poke Gum. Original Poke Gum. Poke Rev sent that to me in a mystery box once. Um, I've never tasted it or unboxed it, but I thought the packets are really, really sick. Then I've got a Sobble Mug sent for me from the Pokemon Company, and I've got a sealed box of Pokemon Rumble. I don't know if you guys remember this game or not, or the TCG. It is awesome. I did a video opening one years and years ago. I don't even know how long ago it was, but it feels like ages ago. If you want to see the unbox, there is a video on the channel, but I've got a sealed one now, and that's also skyrocketed in price. This is a bananas one. So I don't know how many of you guys know about card ass cards or the original cards before the base set. So Pokemon put out a 1997 card game called Card Ass, and it is incredible. The artwork is just unlike any other you've ever seen, right? So I've got a Blast Toys, Venusaur, and Charizard. Very, very expensive cards. Got a nine, eight, and a nine. Uh, oh, you know, PSA graded, that's all cool. But these are my favorite. Charizard, obviously probably the rarest, but Little Timmy, this one right here is my absolute favorite. It is a Cardass Pikachu Gem Mint 10. I got this on eBay, forget this, $500 I think? Now there is one listed for like $5,000. It is ridiculous. So I love the artwork, I love the card, and the fact it just skyrocketed in value after I bought it was crazy. And it was a classic scenario where I just bought it because I liked the art, and the fact it just skyrocketed in value is even, I don't know, even crazier. Look at this, this is a movie promo box. This is a Pikachu on Cramorant box. Came with a really cool promo card of like Cramorant eating Pikachu. Bit of a weird one, but again, I bought it and everyone sort of wandered, so I just kept it sealed. Then we come across to here. Oh, mama, we got some big hitters. So I got my Burning Shadows Rainbow Red Charizard GX Gem Mint 10. Very expensive card, but I've also got a PSA 9 Japanese version of the Burning Shadows Rainbow Red Charizard PSA 9, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then right in the middle, the ETB in which they came from and uh, another Champion's Path ETB. I don't know why I've got so many of those, but I do. Then as you come down from the Burning Shadow sort of cube, we've got the Gold Cube. So a bit of an interesting one. This right here is a Pikachu Gold Trophy that was given out to Japanese phone company contract holders. So if you had a contract with a certain phone company in Japan, they sent you a Pikachu Trophy to say thanks. Not making that up. So I got that trophy right there. And then we've also got these, uh, Cool, completely gold Pikachu plush toys, all official. They're sitting on like some really cool, like, look at that. That's the tag they come in. They sit on a golden throne. Got these like, you know, third party, not official, but they're still pretty cool. The rarest uh, sort of trading cards in these illuminated metal sort of gold font, Charizard and the Pokemon Pikachu illustrated card. Then as we come here, a lot of signed Pokemon cards. All right, so the very first thing we've got at the top here is a Jason Page side Charizard. He actually sang the original Pokemon theme song, so for him to sign a Charizard, I thought was pretty special. Then as we come down here, we've got two Steve Aoki uh, completely signed energies from the base set. So these are base set energies that Steve actually pulled on his live stream and signed them, sent it to me. I thought that was pretty cool because he sent me that and a t-shirt. Then we've also got, this is a actually graded card by uh, CGC, so I think they graded the card, but not the signature. Yeah, they just grade the sort of card, and then they write on the back, it's an unwitnessed signature. So they didn't grade the signature because we had Masuda get graded by PSA right here, and that was really cool because he signed a Psyduck, and that's his favorite Pokemon. But Mirimoto, the guy that made or helped uh, create Mew as a Pokemon, he signed my Thunderous right here, and his uh, signature incorporates a Mew, which is sick. And then we got a guy called d Bruce, who actually makes a lot of cool Pokemon t-shirts, and he signed his own sort of t-shirt card, so I put that up there as well. Then we've got, I know this is probably the big fan favorite, the Hidden Fade section. Okay, so with the front right here, we got my three PSA graded shiny Charizards out of Hidden Fates. All came back to Gem Mint 10, except for this one right here, which is a PSA 9. I couldn't care less though. I think having two Gem Mint 10 shining Charizards and having them all uh, encased in PSA anyway is just the best thing in the world. Now, the next one right here, 
oh my goodness. Uh, it, it got overwhelming very quickly. So right here, we got a Japanese uh, Evolutions booster box completely sealed. So this is the 20th anniversary reprint of the base set in Japanese. And if you look at the artwork, it is unparalleled in like just hand-drawn beautifulness. Charizard is encapsulating the Pokeball in a fire. It's so sick. I don't know. I love it so much. That thing right there, also way more expensive than I thought it was. It's like $3,000. Um, and then we also got a uh, McDonald's Gem Mint 10 graded uh, Charmander. Got that sent to the channel recently. E-Series as well, exclusive to Japan. Very sick. Evolution's pre-release kit. Tossing on whether I opened that because inside it could contain a base set Charizard reprint with the Evolution's pre-release logo on it, so... I don't know. There's also a chance you could get, I think, like a March Hamp or something. So, tossing up whether we open that. But yeah, Evolution's pre-release kit is very cool. And then we've got a Nintendo 64 with the game still inside. Pokemon Stadium 2 in Japanese. Mint complete, like sealed mint box. The uh, artwork on that is just phenomenal. I love Nintendo 64 games. Japan, the way they box them too unlike any other. All right, so this right here is a huge grail in my collection, completely sealed Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy Color. It's got the limited edition Pokemon card inside, so completely sealed means it's got the card inside, got the game inside, um, everything you need, and all the edges are pointy, very crispy, still got the seal of approval from Walmart on it. I love it. So, yeah, I don't know. This sort of inspires me to maybe get Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow completely sealed as well. But for now, this is huge. I'm a big Pokemon card collector, so I had to have the Game Boy Color game. All right, then coming down from here, we've got my Detective Pikachu Beach Ball, given to me when I went on the yellow carpet over in Japan. We've got my Pokeball and Great Ball realistic replicas. Those are huge to me because the Pokemon company let me do a video on them before they were even out to the public. So I think that's just a huge milestone for my YouTube channel and something I think looks really, really nice when displayed. And then we've got my first edition Charizard base set booster. Now, who is this opened by, guys? You probably all know. It's the Logan Paul one right here. I don't know if we can see that, but it's what he read out and opened up on his live stream. And that's a huge bit of Pokemon history. So very, very cool to have that there. Got another Detective Pikachu sort of display right here. Um, we've got the Japanese seal booster box right there. We've got the loose boosters so you know what the artwork inside is. A couple of English boosters. And then we've got two sealed, one Chinese and one Japanese booster boxes back there. Then, right here, my Gem Mint 10 display of Charizard VMAXs. Don't ask me how I got so many. I think I was just given a couple. Um, then I pulled a couple. We graded a few. So we've got a bit of a uh, Gem Mint 10. Uh, Charizard VMAX haul right here, and then behind it, another Battle Styles booster box, and I don't ever want to talk about what's there again, but somehow I have a Steam Siege booster box opened. Next to it, this is my favorite thing to collect, it's Evolutions booster boxes. I always said, um, this is the best set ever, even before it was hyped up, and you guys know for a fact I had a couple of booster boxes before, um, this was even crazy, so always had to keep a couple around, and we got three right there in the collection at the moment, and a Vivid Voltage open booster box. Down here, if you're ever curious what art's inside of the booster box is just above it, I like to display the uh, artwork right there. And then we just got a bunch of tins. I think these are random ones, like, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this. We got Eternatus right there. And I don't know if you can see this down here, but that's like a mini tin booster box that's completely sealed. Totally Togepi. Everyone remember that episode? What else do we have here? Oh yeah, a couple of jumbo cards. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess random assortments I didn't know where to put. And then what do we have in here? Oh, oh no. So this is all, do you guys remember we opened so many Shining Fates ETBs to get out my, uh, where is he? Ah, oh, he's not even here. Shining Charizard VMAX. Guys, how many ETBs did we crack open? I don't even want to know. What's in, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> So I've been having like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having like a bit of a Digimon phase. So a lot of these are Digimon uh, boosters that are very, very vintage. I'm thinking about opening a Digimon something on the channel. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. I just recently watched the reboot Digimon movie and it was so sick. So seeing all these, I've actually got a bunch of Digimon boosters right here. I've also got some Yu-Gi-Oh product because I'm getting I don't know, I'm slowly getting a bit into Yu-Gi-Oh. I like watching the anime, I think it's pretty cool. So that's the entire Oh, cube thing. Hopefully you're not bored yet. So down here, we've got all five of my uh, tops completely sealed TV animation tins. These are huge. Got all the big ones like Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Meowth, 
um, all completely sealed with the boosters inside. They're very, very cool. And I think as vintage as they are, sick artwork. And again, this was uh, this sort of cardboard cutout right here, celebrating Pokemon Y, which literally comes out of the cardboard on a spring. Um, this right here was actually from the same store that these ones were saved from. So I thought that was really cool to have in my collection. I love how big they are. They just really set the tone of the room really well. Got a Crash Bandicoot skateboard given to me by Crash Bandicoot. I think there's only a hundred in the whole world, so very fortunate to have this. The artwork is sick. And speaking of sick artwork right there, guys, this is given to me by the Pokemon Company and I love it. Handmade, out of wood. You got the Bear Walker Pokemon skateboard. Toxtricity right there. Then we got more product that I need to unbox on the channel, so I guess these might be videos soon. If not, they sort of just sit in the collection. I don't mind either way. You guys can pick a couple of things out. This might be a video soon, a very cool product. I won't explain it right now. But then we also got the Mew Mew 2 20th Anniversary Collection, completely sealed. You might have seen that in Will's Mystery Box. Pokemon Generation boosters in there, some really cool full arts. Got some nano blocks either side, Moltres Lugia. Got the Ho-Ho and Articuno. Then you gotta have the Evolutions Heroes. Eevee Heroes is such a good investment in my opinion, I think like, I don't know, the booster box price right now, it's probably as low as it's ever gonna be. It's such an amazing set, and if I can get some more boxes, I'm definitely gonna do it. Couple of pop vinyls, I love getting them when I can. I don't go out of my way to get them, but if I'm there, they're in stock, I pick them up. And then we got my Charmander. Dude, I love these cardboard cutouts, but he is protecting my greatest investment, or my biggest piece yet. Daniel Arsham Charizard. So this is a sculpture from Daniel Arsham. Really cool artist that puts holes in things. You guys might remember the video that we did on it recently. And a lot of you guys suggested that I put all my original Charizard artwork PSA cards in the case with it. So when someone comes and has a look at it, they're like, oh, there's the original cards. That's what it, that's what the uh, sculpture's based off of. So I got my Arita signed Charizard. Hopefully you can see this with the glass on it, but it's got the Unless Leaf stand right there. But Arita signed Charizard. Uh, PSA 5 Shadowless Charizard. Then behind it, I don't know if you can see this, it's a base set to 4.5 CGC uh, Charizard. And then on the other side, Evolutions PSA 9 Charizard. And if I get any more, they'll all be in here. All right, so then we come up to something that I think to anyone else looks like it's complete shambles, but to me, this is sort of a work in progress. On the uh, base sort of layer of things, I've got a lot of my PSA cards that I've kept in the collection, and the reason I don't keep these stacked up or together is I generally like looking at the cards that I have. So I'll like play with a few cards, put them on top, or they'll always be stacked here. So I'll give you guys a bit of a highlight run through right here. You can pause the video if you need to look any. Some of my favorites though. So this one right here is probably one of my favorites. Stormfront Charizard given to me by Will. I could have put this with the Daniel Arsham thing, but I just really like the card. I think uh, absolutely gorgeous. The artwork's sensational. Um, another big hitter, we got my Charizard Tops card right there. Got my Espeon out of Aquapolis. I think that's really sick. Um, Gem Mid 10, Golden Tag Team Charizard. Got the Zapdos from Base Set coming back in Gem Mid 10. Got a, uh, I guess, Sky Ridge Box Stopper, Gem Mid 10. Um, then we got my Sky Ridge Articuno. But then we got this one right here, which is probably a huge one for me. Electabuzz First Edition. And then you flip it around, and then on the back it says Logan Paul Opening. So these are all my Logan Paul cards right here. And I think that's really cool. Got these sculptures that were given to me on a Mailman Monday. I think they're stunning. They really set the tone. Custom Coke bottles given to me by fans. On the leaf, Ando, Mr. Stanley. Shout out to my boy. Got a uh, Nintendo 2DS Pikachu edition I bought. Um, all the boosters are in this. Lemon cards. Look at that. So maybe I'll do a video on that. Not too sure. These are all cards that need to be sent off to grading. So I just know at a glance, like, oh yeah, these are cards that need to be sent off ASAP. What do we got in here? Oh geez, yeah. So we got some bangers in there that need to be sent off. And then these are also stuff I need to sort out because I don't know. These are like all gradable cards and very, very cool. But yeah, they're promos from a chocolate company in Japan. Um, so I gotta sort through all of these still. And I think you guys get a good vibe. Like this is me just doing work in progress. Um, either I'm not working on YouTube, I'm working on this room. 
So it's always something to do with this table and that table sort of just me working. This is a pretty cool section though. All right, so we got this Pikachu jumping out of an explosion display right here given to me on a birthday, I think it was. Um, probably, it's, like a, it's like a metal poster basically, but I think it's a pretty cool one. Pikachu uh, with a lightning bolt behind him. Got a couple of detective Pikachu promo items. Got Pikachu puzzles. Um, we've got a promo box right there that has the burning shadows in there. I've always wanted to open the burning shadows because I reckon there's a Charizard in there. Got the art book behind here and everything. And then we got something special. Got a 2019 World Championships deck. And the reason I have a whole case of these is because inside one of these, you get a booklet and inside the booklet, it's me. That's me doing a professional Pokemon Go um, tournament on stage. It was the first ever of its kind and gave me a professional esports ranking. I'm like, believe it or not, if you Google like esports leaderboards in Pokemon Go, I'm like one of eight of the only people up there that played and this is my jersey that I had to wear. So I had to t represent Team Instinct. I was uh, representing Australia and probably the best experience in my whole life. And that's a little display setup that I'm really proud of. And I guess I want to get framed one day, but for now, I think it's cool. We got the case, the deck, what was inside the deck and the jersey I wore. Then you got these evolution stones. So if you ever see Eevee in the wild, I could pretty much evolve it with these official Pokemon Center, electric, uh, fire, and water type. Look at that, that's awesome. Then as we come across here, a couple of fan art drawings that I'm obsessed with, and these are random investments, so the Toon Chaos uh, Yu-Gi-Oh booster box that Will sent me. Again, I love uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, slowly getting more into it um, day by day. And then I've also got a Donkey Kong booster box, which I bought off eBay for like 200 bucks. There's gotta be, I don't know how this works exactly, but I think each of these has a stack of boosters inside. So I think there are like a ridiculous amount of packs and it's so heavy inside of this Donkey Kong booster box. Um, got this, I think it's a movie, correct if I'm wrong, it's like some sort of movie tie-in promo, but Mimikyu and Team Rocket versus Ash Ketchum and Pikachu sort of thing deck in Japan. Oh, let's, uh, let's quickly switch that around right there. We've got my Nidoran prize promo from the base set two days. This is huge. It's been such a good item I got out of a TCA gaming mystery box. Let's finish off with what's under the table of mess. So right down here, we've got my uh, double platinum with a Dragon Frontiers blister pack. It was really cool. The platinum series had a couple of EX packs inside of their blisters with the Porygon C there. Um, definitely encapsulates a moment of time. Pikachu. Then we've also got this Top Deck magazine, but I want to show you guys. It says Pokemon League on there, Ash Ketchum on the front. Look what it came with. A free Jumbo card and a Fossil Booster. Isn't that the best thing in the world? Something that I think is really cool are these uh, TCG books that I've collected. Um, so if you see this right here, it's the Pokemon Value Guide, and I'd low-key love to publish one now. Oh, i got to show you guys. Some of these prices are hilarious. So this book right here is published in 1999 and it's pretty crazy because a first edition Charizard in 1999 was 240 bucks. So I think this is at the height of uh, Pokemon Mania. 240 is still pretty wild for 1999, but oh my goodness. Imagine if you go back then, scoop them all up for 240 bucks. Unbelievable, like now they're, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is crazy. And this one's actually more of the official one because look at this, official Nintendo came with a free Venusaur. Um, but this was given to me by TCA and TCA took the Venusaur out of it or he actually got it without the Venusaur. So a bit more of an authentic one, cool artwork inside, but this one's a good old meme. Some of the prices are hilarious. But this right here is what I want to show you guys. My binder collection. We've got a Mewtwo behind there, Worlds Pikachu, a couple of sealed like Japanese Pokeball thingies. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the binders. Alrighty, so inside of these binders right here are basically all full art cards. The rest of my collection is inside of my studio. Uh, all the other binders are there because I need to place cards in them immediately or there are uh, in different places. But these are ones I've written off as complete. I'm happy with them. And let me tell you, this really shows how long I've been collecting for, I feel like. I feel like some of these are just unparalleled with cards that you forget about that I have. And going through them, it is ridiculous. Look, look at that. These are crazy. I still go through these now and again and get blown away by some of the cards that I see. And the colors, like, because these are only full art binders, you start to see colors and like, you know, look at this. Just rainbows that you've never seen before. And definitely it's my one of my proudest things in the whole collection because even though they're not graded, even though like 
um, I don't know, even though it's not crazy expensive, I personally just find so much joy in collecting full arts and I think as a collector this is what I'm really happy doing. So I've been doing this for a while now and I'm really proud of how these all come out. Like this is one binder guys. We still have, what is it, like three? Three more full binders? And I'm working on like other ones too. Like these are just the finished ones. So we got that one. Ugh. And then we got my Pikachu one. I think some of these have rarer cards than other ones because they get older. Oh my goodness, okay. Got the gold cards. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Got the rainbow rares. Oh my goodness. You guys gotta let me know which binder, number one, two, three, or four is your favorite. That's a crazy page. So these promos are what's inside of that thing. Look at that, gold cards. Celebes, Thunderous, Charizard, Flashfire, Thunderous. Amazing. Yo, we've got the Megas. Oh gosh. This is like the perfect way, I think, to end the collection. Show you guys something everyone's been asking for for so long. Suicune looks awesome. I don't even know. You got like trainer cards that look unbelievable. I'm going through these so fast. This is a very, very cool card. I need to get greater Giovanni with the Persian. It just keeps going. Got the shiny Gyarados, Sylveon up the top there, Skylar Original. Got the, like even, like these are expensive cards. I probably should get PSA graded, but I'm really just happy having them in the collection as binder pieces. Okay, here we go, next binder. So these are part of my keep on gaming. Usually when I keep uh, some of these binders that I was meant to sell to fans is because there's a defect on them somewhere and I was like, you know what, I'll just store my full arts in them. <laughs> Yo, I forget, sorry, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. I haven't looked through these in a hot minute. It's rare I get through my whole collection as uh, one piece. Usually I'm trying to show off like things, I don't know, in a rush. So this one looks like it's halfway. Okay, so this one's halfway. So still building this one out. So that looks like it's the middle one and that makes sense because it's the one I've signed. And then this one should be a banger as well. Yeah, I got a feeling that Snorlax was like a 2017, 2018 put together binder. Wow, okay, so we got a lot of gold cards, got the full arts. Yeah, this is pretty, <laughs> this is pretty bonkers. Ah, oh, Cosmic Eclipse, character arts, yeah. Love the look of these. So these would have been more recent. So I've tried to go through here, find the holes and put in more recent cards by the looks of it. Rainbow Red, gold cards, shiny cards. Oh my goodness, look at this. These are all from those tins. Tag Team Charizards. These are Secret Rare Energy, so they all have the texture. Absolute bananas. Shiny cards, more gold cards, and then we've got trainers to end it off, I think. Gee whiz, yeah, a lot of trainers. This is crazy town, but I think that's it. I think it's like, oh, all the binders I really want to show off for now. Um, but if you do want a more in-depth video on binders, just let me know because I do think we could do some more damage. But without further ado, guys, that right there was the entire collection room. Let me know what you thought. Um, I'd love to hear all your thoughts in the comments if you've got any suggestions. I really hope you enjoyed it though. It's something that I'm so passionate about and so proud of. So um, yeah, I, I think this is the coolest thing ever and I love doing it every single day. So I hope you enjoyed my collection room. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get to 3 million subscribers and see where the collection room takes us in 2022. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And till next time, keep on gaming. All right, now get out MTV. MTV Cribs, get out. Goodbye.